guys, welcome back to another exciting adventure of The Long Dark as we continue with Astrid as she is exploring uh, Pleasant Valley. And we'll begin right here in the community center where we left off. And right away you'll notice Astrid has healed up uh, really well. And so what I've done is uh, when we left off on the last episode, Astrid was in a really bad state due to some food poisoning. She ate a really bad candy bar. That made her sick, and so that was entirely my fault. Uh, instead of making you guys wait through an entire day to heal her up, I went ahead and played offline. So I'll give you a quick recap of, of the events of that day. So uh, offline, uh, essentially I spent the day here in town looking around, and I went through and checked all the houses again. Uh, and it, it surprised me how much loot I actually missed the first time around. I mean, nothing really big, but, you know, a little, little bit of food and odds and ends here and there. I snuck back into the church and uh, crept up quietly up to the piano. And then this happened. Okay, I also uh, made my way across the bridge the other end of town to explore the houses and cars over on this side. I did find a battery in the truck and thought it would be a good idea to take it with me back to the community center, but after going a short distance and seeing how heavy it was and how slow I was walking, I decided I didn't need the battery after all. I mapped the area a little bit and I also took the time to harvest some of the cattails that were along the frozen river on my way back to the uh, community center. So really the main point of this day was to get tired again so that I could drink some herbal tea and get fully rested to heal up. I also cooked a bunch more reishi tea, herbal tea and coffee and then headed for bed. And with that, we are ready to resume our adventure, exploring here in Pleasant Valley. I think it's about time we head out of town. Let's take a look at our map. So we are here in the community hall, and uh, it might be time, I think, to head north and explore whatever is up in this direction. Uh, so let's try heading out of town. So it looks like I need to head to the bridge, or actually I could just follow the river. If I just head up the river, I think that's heading north. Although look, the road curves up north. I wonder if it like curves around kind of indirectly, uh, maybe to the, to the northeast. Whereas I think the river just heads straight north, it looks like, so maybe I'll take the river. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? Should almost just have a coin here, we can flip the coin. Um, let's stay on the road. Maybe I'll, I'll take. I'll head to the bridge, we'll stay on the road past those houses that I already explored, and it, will, it looks like it's going to curve up this way, so we'll try that, okay? Alright, let's head out. Let me check my inventory, see if we're heavy. We're just a little bit heavy. Uh, but we we should be all right Left lots of uh, goodies in here of course for next time when I explored those other houses. I did find some more pots and um, Recycled cans. Let me just check to make sure I have some pots at least in my inventory Got two recycled cans um, That's good enough for me. I really haven't been using the pots and they're heavy So I'm gonna try just using the cans this time and save a little bit on weight. So let's see how heavy these guys are. So this is a kilogram. And this is 0.15 kilograms. So it's a big weight difference. So I'm going to try just using the cans. See if we can get the coal. I must have already taken a charcoal out of there. We left lots of goodies in here. Just scroll through this real quick. Lots of food, um, dog food, 
candy bars, that kind of thing. I'm going to leave the pistol here. Sorry, I keep calling this a pistol. I'm sorry. It's a revolver, I know. I'm going to leave the revolver here with the revolver ammunition. Um, man, I do want to take the sewing kits. Uh, I'll take one of them. I think I already have quite a few sewing kits. Yeah, I've got I've got two plus the one I just took. So I've got three. It looks like we've got a bad one here. So we'll get rid of that. And you notice it immediately disappeared as soon as I transferred it. When condition drops to zero, they just vanish if you leave them inside a container. If I were to drop that on the ground here, then it would not disappear. Oh, we got another can here. Um, if I were to leave that on the ground, it wouldn't disappear. But as soon as you put it in a container, if the condition drops to zero, then it disappears. And that's why later in the game, uh, as we explore other parts um, throughout the map, uh, a lot of the containers will actually be empty. And it's because, orig at sorry, originally at, when the game started, they would have had goodies and loot inside them. But the loot drops condition even before we find it. And then uh, when we actually search the container, then the loot is gone. So uh, in this container here, we've got a bunch of our clothing. And these will just disappear as well. They'll just slowly fade away. Um, but we do have lots of cloth. We've got 18 cloth, uh, six bandages. Oh, and guys, I got to tell you, I went back and watched one of my recent episodes where I was making, uh, I, in the episode, I made some Tinder plugs. <laughs> I totally missed, I, I was looking at a stack of newspaper, I'm like, oh shoot, I only have one Tinder plug, but it was actually down here, I had a bunch, I think I had four Tinder plugs, so I'm such a goof, and uh, I appreciate you guys being patient with me, I, I talk like I know what I'm doing, but I don't, I, I think I know what I'm doing sometimes, but I'm just learning, and mostly just having fun, so I appreciate you guys being patient with me, and I do appreciate your comments and feedbacks, and um, I am completely in favor of making fun of me. I have no problem with that because I know I'm I'm really not very good at this. Oh man, we have tons of books here we found in town. Got lots of water. Let me just check our water situation real quick. So water we do I even have any water? I don't think I do, other than my teas. I don't need two of these. Why why am I carrying these? I don't think I need any tools. Um, I should have quality tools. I wonder if I put them in here? Did, did I ever have quality tools? I don't know if I did or not. Okay, so maybe we'll take one of the one of these with us. So this one that's 100%. 100%. Okay, we'll take that one. Put this up here. Okay, let's check our... We are heavy. Just barely. Um, but now... 2.25 liters. Let's go ahead and drink up. And we're still just a little bit heavy. But that's okay. Alright, we are going to head out. Goodbye community center. I don't know if we'll be back again. I hope we have good weather for traveling today. It's not too bad. Not too bad, so we'll head out, get out our rifle. This looks so cool. And I love this game. Just feels like we're here, you know, we're we're in an abandoned town small town in the middle of nowhere nature all around us bad weather coming in and I just love it love this game you can hear the wildlife all around us and who knows what's around the corner is it going to be a, a moose a bear wild wolves I don't know it's just such a cool game Okay, so I, uh, I walked over to these, these houses and they are all boarded up. Can't go in those. And there's the truck where we found the uh, battery. 
And I actually left the battery over by that car. Over there. Just way too heavy. But we don't really need it. It's, uh, it's useful. You can harvest it for the lead that's inside for making bullets later on. Oh, but we've just been so fortunate with finding ammunition as it is. Uh, one good thing about making bullets, though, is you can level up your skills. Um, but I think you might need to have the Aurora and special tools, like a, a drill press or something, in order to make the bullets. I could be wrong there, but it seems like when I've watched people play, they've got to go somewhere where there's uh, like a... Uh, what do I want to say? A... Uh, like a shop, like a metal metallurgical shop or something where they have tools. And then they have to wait for an aurora so that the tools have power. And then uh, they can craft stuff. So there's our little town of, was that Thompson's Crossing or something like that over there? So on our journey here, I'd like to stop somewhere with a high vantage point. We can map a little bit more. I think we're doing pretty good. Looks like we got something coming up over here. Maybe like a little farm. What is this? No trespassing. Whoa. Oh, gosh, that deer scared me. I could hear the footsteps. Mining road, no trespassing. Let's. I'm going to go up on this rock and map so we can get this junction right here, and then maybe we will head up that mining road. Maybe there's a mine. I'm going to try to get up high. And get a good view. All right, how many we got? Is that 14? We got 14 charcoal. Hey, we're doing really good for charcoal. Okay, I'm not going to be so skimpy on mapping. Now, that really opened up the map. That's really good. Okay, so here we are at this crossing. I think we'll just head up here a little bit. Let's see what's up in this direction. It's totally blind kind of exploring everything, as long as the weather's not too bad. May as well have a little adventure. What is that? Is that a deer? Is that, that's probably the same deer that scared me, huh? somewhere around here. Is that a wolf? We got a wolf. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get a torch out. Let's just... Here we go. Yeah, I see you. I see you, Wolfie. I see you. All right. Let's, uh, let's do this. Come and charge me. There you go. I don't want to shoot you. just want to scare you away. I just want you out of the way. And go get that deer. There's deer and uh, some rabbits over there. They're much tastier than Astrid. Is there anything up this way? So that's one thing I really do appreciate uh, in watching other people play that I learned about the torch. It's just such a powerful tool. You know, I don't really want to kill the wolf. And so just scaring, being able to scare it away, it's just so helpful. I don't waste bullets. I don't kill the animal. So I really don't want to harvest it. I can't eat their, their meat yet. Until you become like level five cooking, I think, you can get parasites when you eat predator meat like wolf and bear. Um, so their meat really is no good. 
I wouldn't mind a wolf hide. Uh, maybe later in the game we can harvest a wolf hide and make uh, make some warm clothing from that. So not much going on here. I guess we got to go farther up the road. Look at that. So is this a fork in the road? Kind of goes to the left and right. We'll kind of hug the left and see what's over here. Grab some more sticks. This looks like a dead end. Okay. And I've got to remember to keep an eye on my torch level. And uh, swap that out when it gets too low. This is quite a steep climb. You'd need a serious four-wheel drive vehicle to get up here. It'd be kind of cool in this game if you could get a vehicle working. drive around. Make travel a lot quicker. But you know I kinda I kinda like the slow pace of this game. You're forced to really see the scenery, you know, and appreciate every little part of it, every detail. And you know we have so many matches I don't know that I necessarily need to keep uh, keep a torch going. So maybe I'll let this torch burn out. We'll get rid of it. As long as I have more torches in my inventory, we should be okay. Okay, maybe I'll map up here before it gets too, uh, too bad of weather. Sounds like our wolf friend is telling all his buddies about... <laughs> hey, we got food over here, guys. Okay, where are we at? Old man's beard lichen. We just harvested that. Okay, looks like we're... Heading in, kind of, it looks like the mining road curved this way, and then heading south now. Okay. Let's get out our gun. It's quite the steep road here. Now what is that? Is that just rocks? Kind of look like a uh, very rough a house of some kind. Okay, we found a mine. Now the question is, does this mine connect to some other territory? Or is this just a... Just a mine? I don't know. Let's go ahead and map. Hopefully we can get the mine entrance on our map here. Yeah, okay. So we've got the abandoned... To the abandoned mine. Let's go check out the abandoned mine. And hopefully, I fueled up my uh, fueled up my lantern before we left the community center. And love the ambience. I, you know, in real life, I love exploring abandoned mines. Um, so this is this is just a lot of fun for me. I love going in old abandoned mines and uh, checking out what's going on in there. All right, let's get out our. Well, before I get out the lantern, let's loot a little bit, I guess. Cured leather, a book. I'm not going to take the book, and I may actually leave some stuff here so we're not so heavy. 
Let's drink up on our water. And then I will drop our water. Drop it all. We'll drop some food here. What else we got we could drop? Um, I don't think we'll run into any wild animals here. I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Because we, uh, in my last playthrough, we found Scruffy's cave at uh, Desolation Point. So I don't think we have any more wild animals in here. Somewhere else in this uh, world, there is a cave with a rabbit in there. Of course, uh, it, everybody says it's bad luck if you kill that rabbit. Um, but there's a chance we could run into a rabbit. Uh, we'll keep our pry bar, we'll drop the simple tools, and yeah, that's probably good enough. We can uh, start our exploration. Looks like our lantern is not all the way full, but I think we do have some additional lantern fuel, and I'm pretty sure we will find more lantern fuel. All right, I'm going to stay to the left here. Wouldn't mind collecting a bunch of coal. Yeah, coal is... Coal is like gold in this game. Coal is the... Like one of the best resources you can find. Worn gauntlets. Interesting. Okay. Got another stem. This is another very valuable item in this game. We'll take that, I guess. Move it to the uh, move it to the entrance to the to the mine. Okay, now let's head back. Very cool sound effect here. I love the sound of the moisture. Let's head over this way. Anything over here? Any loot? And one nice thing about this coal, if we take it and then come back later, it's possible that more coal will appear. Don't know that we'll ever be back this way. Newsprint. No, we're good on newsprint. I will take the scrap metal to the cave entrance. Or mine. I keep calling it a keep calling it a cave. It's a mine. Take that. check these lockers out. Ward hoodie, don't think we need that. I think I can use this. Trail boots. Okay. Those are all good. I'll take those. And I don't mind if our lantern burns out. We can always make torches. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. It's a lot of coal. Maybe I shouldn't pick up all this coal. <laughs> it's just such a good resource. This is quite the uh, the cave. Don't want to get lost in here. 
What do we have here? Now, this just looks like a bad accident. Sorry, sir. Looks like you had a hard time of it. We are getting kind of heavy. Okay, what do we have here? This is kind of cool. It's like a way station in the mine. Where they kept their tools locked up or something. We'll take that, thank you. Don't need a book unless it's a book that will teach us something. Got some more tools. Don't need the simple tools. I will take the cleaning kit. Stack papers, no thank you. Don't need the worn scarf. We'll take the sewing kit. Anything else? Alright, let's see, uh, I want to see if I can refuel this lantern. Nope, no more lantern fuel. So, how are we doing for torches? And we don't have any torches. So, if the lantern gets close to running out, we will just make a fire and uh, pull some torches out of there. But maybe we will find some lantern fuel in here. That would be ideal. You would think a mine would have lantern fuel. So I'm just hanging hanging to the left as we go. Hopefully I don't go in a circle. I'm going to start leaving the coal on the ground. So we have found... Looks like an exit. I see daylight ahead. So I'm curious where this has let us. We've got lots of coal here, so I, I will pick these up and then we can drop them in a pile. Let's see what we have here. Anything back here? And Astrid, hey, we do have a restroom. Nice. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay. Astrid appreciates that. So much nicer than trying to find a spot in the woods with the wolves around. And we're a little bit lighter after that as well. Let's figure out where we are. I wonder if this has brought us to some new territory. I'm curious where we are. Let's leave the mine. Coastal Highway. Nice. Okay, so we have connected to a new region, Coastal Highway. I'm going to walk ahead a little bit and we'll just map. Oh, that's right, we dropped our rifle. So we are definitely heading back to get our gear. But let's just uh, take a minute to map this. I do hope there are no wolves. So we don't have a torch, all we have are rocks. Alright, this looks like a good place to map. See if we can get the mine entrance on this map. It doesn't show up. I guess we'll get closer to the mine entrance. Too heavy to run. Coastal Highway, huh? I'm not familiar 
with the coastal highway even a little bit. All right, let's map this mine entrance. Here we are. Okay, we're gonna head back. And we do have a lot of flares. I almost wouldn't, wouldn't mind just using a flare. Does it say, we've got six flares plus the marine flare. And we keep finding more. Ah, should I use it? I'm just going to go ahead and use the lantern. And uh, the lantern actually is refillable even if you run out of fuel. Um, if you don't find fuel, you can still refuel it with oil from catching fish. It's kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and light this. Did I just put it away? There we go. And I am still hoping to find more lantern fuel in this mine. And those boots, th those are just too heavy. I'm not going to mess with those. I think we have plenty of leather. In fact, let's check out the boots we just picked up. Um, let's go in our inventory. Go to our clothing. So we, we currently have on the work boots. They're at 100% and provide 2 degrees warmth. And these are at 72 and provide 7. So I'm going to go ahead and drop those 0.7 boots. Let's see if we can lighten our load a little bit. Yeah, our lantern's almost out. Okay, we have joined up. Is this a dead end? Okay, that makes it easy. Sure, why not? We'll take some reclaimed wood. This much gear. We're going to be making a fire here soon to uh, get some torches anyway. I'm going to go ahead and extinguish this, and we'll use a we'll use a flare. Prefer the look with the uh, the lantern, of course. Uh, everything now has a red glow to it. Now, have we already been here? Mm, yes, we have. Right? Yeah, we've already been here. Okay. My daughter likes to watch The Long Dark with me as we watch other people play. And uh, this past New Year's Eve, just for fun, it was out. It was snowing really, really hard at, at midnight, and uh, we went outside. And I had some, I had some spare flares, and uh, said, "Hey, do you want to try uh, lighting a flare, celebrating the New Year with a flare?" Uh, just like in the long dark and she thought that would that was really cool so we gave her a flare uh, her and my son ran around outside in the snow with flares in their hands casting red glow on everything it was a lot of fun I've already searched this haven't you okay so we've made a full circle looks like but if I remember I'll try to post a picture here of them running around with their red flares in their hand Okay, what do we have here? Another flare.
Now, I know on, sometimes you can reach through these bars and there, there will be stuff to harvest, you know, loot. And I think in one of these mines we can find a backpack that will increase our carrying capacity. That would be really, really helpful. Okay, we're back to the turnabout here. Okay, here we go. We got some loot. We got a rifle. Looks like there's poor unfortunate soul right here. And can we reach anything? Nothing there. We will take the rifle. And now we are super heavy. I don't want to miss anything. Was there any other loot in there? I guess that's it. Okay, we will make our way back to the entrance and get a fire going. We can get rid of all this coal that is slowing us down. Now ideally, I think I'd want to keep anywhere from maybe six or eight pieces of coal with us at any time any as we're exploring the map you know but the rest of the coal we can drop And if our flare burns out, that's all right. We got so many mashes. I think I see daylight ahead. Here we go. Back safely to the entrance to the mine. I'm gonna go out of the mine and drop a bunch of coal and then we'll come back in and grab our stuff and get a fire going. Okay, here we are, Pleasant Valley. We have 43 coal, excellent. Let's drop all those. Nice little stack of coal here, and that feels so much better for walking around. Let's go back inside and get a little fire going. Hmm. I'm trying to think if it's worth shooting a, a deer or something when we make our fire so we can cook some food up. How are we doing for food? Let's go ahead and drink this. We're doing pretty good for food. Those look pretty sketchy. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get a fire started. Try to be further back. Or will it just not let us light it in the mine? I thought we could light a fire in the mine. Are we just too close to the entrance? I don't know. In that case, we'll pick up all our stuff. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. And uh, 
Sure, we'll pick that up and we'll start the fire with that. Let's head out here. And we will start a fire right out here. So why is it not letting us start a fire? Do I just not have any tinder plugs or something? Okay, here we go. Got tinder plugs, got a book. How many accelerant? We got two accelerant. I don't need any accelerant. Let's go ahead and start the fire. First try, that was good. Got 28 sticks. Okay. Let's check our food situation. Could we could cook those? Get some torches. Yeah. Nope. Still haven't learned which button to push. There we go. These are not very good torches. That's a little better. are just not very good. Torches. I'll probably end up dropping some of these. How's the peaches looking? Four minutes till ready. That's better. Torch. Your fire's gonna go out in eight minutes. Let's see. Peaches are ready. Let's go ahead and eat those. Four minutes until melted. Eh, let's add a little bit of fuel. Okay, let's sort our torches out here. So those look pretty good. Let's drop this one. Drop that one. drop that. That should be good. Okay, how's our weight looking? Oh yeah, we got two guns, so we can drop one of the guns. Um, let's see here. We'll sort by weight. So here's our gun. We got up to 100%. Here's this one. I wonder, can I unload this one? Let me just equip this one and see if it has bullets in it. No bullets, okay, nice. So we can actually drop that one. Sounds like we do have a storm kicking up. Let's put this over by the entrance. And now how's our weight looking? We're at 44 out of 33 kilograms. So we're still a bit heavy. Um, probably don't need nine of these. Although I would like to take some back. You know, I'd rather have coal 
then reclaimed wood. So maybe I'll chop these. I'll pick up a couple coal. First aid, we don't need two of these. Can you get sick from low quality energy drink? Don't know if you can. Um, did we pick up any clothing? Oh yeah, we got those worn gauntlets. Let's check those out. Compared to our current gloves. Those are way, those are much warmer and provide more protection against wolf attacks. Looks like those are really good. Weight is one kilogram, 0.25, so it's, it's much more heavy. We can drop those. Sounds like our fire burned out, which is fine. Uh, I need to repair those. Let's go ahead and wear those for now. And I guess we could drop those. Okay, did that cook? Oh, we did get the water out of that, so that's good. I'm going to take a couple more coal. That should be good. Um, and then I think we can head out. Let's see what time of day it is. Ooh, it is getting dark. Dang, I don't want to head out. I don't know quite where we're heading yet. So we may as well probably stay by this mine for the night. Because it's probably going to get nasty. Um, yeah. Maybe we better make shelter here for the night in the mine. So I'm gonna... let's take these inside. Anything else we want to take inside? I'm gonna take this gun inside as well. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay, here in the mine, let's get out our, um... We'll go back to our gun that we're going to drop. We can put that up here. And we're doing good for food and water. We're not totally tired yet. But that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Let's harvest up some stuff or maybe we can read even if we have any books to read. I don't think we do. I don't think we have any like instructional books. We could make the old man's beard wound dressing. Uh, so let's go here to the crafting menu. Uh, first aid. Let's craft another one of these. Okay. We'll craft some more mushrooms. Down to two tinder plugs. So we're essentially harvesting a stick and making two tinder plugs from that. Do we have any? Do I have any newspaper? That's fine. Craft some more tinder plugs. Okay. Let's check our clothing situation. We do have these gloves that need to be fixed. I wonder if it will let us uh, repair them in the dark here. I don't think it will, but we can try it. Let's repair the sewing kit. Yeah. It's probably too dark. Oh no, I think we just failed. Oh, you hear that storm picking up outside? I'm glad we have shelter. Okay, we're back up to 100% on the gloves. That's really good. Those are very nice gloves. Let's drop these. 100% on the boots. Really good on the socks and underwear. Pants are all near 100%. Could probably uh, work on those a little bit. 
Yeah, we are doing so good as far as uh, our conditions going. I might wait till these are like 75% before I try to fix those so we don't waste our uh, materials. Okay, let's get out our sleeping arrangement here. And we'll sleep for... We're not super tired, but let's try nine hours. Let's see how that works out. Okay, nice. Let's pick up our bedroll. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Let's drink some water. Doing good for food. And yeah, where's the... It's still dark. Just barely, though. Um, I wonder, if, will it let us sleep for one more hour? Or should we just pass time? Let's try sleeping one hour. Okay, I'll pick that up. It's just barely daytime now. Let's see what the weather's like outside. Ooh, not good. It's just a little bit dark still. The sun should be coming up any minute now. Okay. Well, let's head back in the mine. And how's my bedroll doing? I'm gonna, I might need to repair my bedroll. We're 78% there, so let's go ahead and repair our bedroll while we're waiting. Sun's coming up. We're back up to 100% on the bedroll. Oh, we got all this scrap metal we don't need. Let's drop that. What else can we get rid of here? We want to keep our pry bar, simple tools. We want to take those. We don't need eight bandages. Drop four bandages. Um, let's just go through these. Okay, so fire starting. That's looking pretty good. Maybe I'll drop one of those. Got still have tons of matches. Got our energy drinks and everything. Kind of want to hang on to that. Clothing is all looking really good. Food. I'm glad we got those cattails. Those are a really good emergency food. They never go bad. We won't get sick from them. And uh, you can six cattails will get you through one day. So that's really good. Lots of food. You know I'm going to drop these rotten sardines. No need to carry those with us. Um, everything else is looking pretty good. Our weight's looking pretty good as well. Gun's in good shape. The lantern's in 100% condition, although it is empty almost. Um, but we will get some more fuel for that. Got some torches now and plenty of flares. Probably could drop a couple of these. Don't need that many flares. Um, let's drop the cleaning kit. So we already have two good ones. I'm hoping soon we'll find a flare gun. Um, those are really good against the moose and the bear. Um, just get, and just to have, you know, just as an emergency to scare stuff away. I do want to hang on to our sewing kits. They're not that heavy and they're super useful. Uh, we can probably drop a whetstone because our knife is at 100%. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's head back out and see how the weather's looking today. Did clear up. Nice. This is much better uh, traveling conditions. 
So in the next episode, here we are at the mine. We are going to head back to the road and continue our adventure north and explore whatever is up in this part of the valley. Um, but this has been a, a fun episode going into this mine, finding lots of loot. Um, I was really happy we got that coal. Uh, and I'm hoping in the next episode we can find some more lantern fuel. Uh, and I'm hoping in the next episode we can find some more lantern fuel. Um, I almost wonder if it's worth me swinging by. Uh, so when our road connects here, is it worth going back to the community hall for the uh, fuel? I don't know. I might just press on north because we got we got lots of uh, we got flares and we got torches, so I may not need to make a trip back there. At any rate, let's head back into the mine to save our game. And with that, we will call it an episode. So I hope to see you again in the next episode. I appreciate you joining along with me on this adventure. If you had a good time, let me know. Uh, leave a thumbs up, and uh, I really do enjoy your comments. And uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care. Thank you.